Aren't you breathing too? Yeah, I am. Well, let me see yeah, it then. Because you were in her life. I was. That's what I was. Well, let's be honest. I'm just fine. I'm in a real problem. Huh? What's the answer? He just said that uh, she didn't want to see me again, that uh, she didn't want to see anybody, and that uh, all he'd done was try to, um, you know, take care of her. Did he get angry? Mm, he didn't want to talk to me. Do you believe him when he says that Farrah didn't want to see you? No, absolutely not. What did he say about? He said this was a peace offering. In what sense? <laughs> he said nobody wins. He said we both lost. Like, you know, he's in her life too. Because his justification is I've got a son with her, which <laughs> means nothing because I said to him, did you know that I talked to her every day for 11 years and I'm the one that was in her life? And he was shocked, absolutely shocked. He was shocked because he didn't know? Because or? he didn't know. He said he didn't know. He said, I don't know. I didn't know that. But that's consistent with your story all along. Absolutely. And, and essentially you don't explain the situation in the sense that if he doesn't know that you were together, is that the case? Everything he just told me is, is, is not the truth and uh, he's not forthcoming about anything. And he's trying to, uh, to say that uh, this is the way that she wanted to end her life and that's not true. What did he say about the will? He said, oh, come on, let's not go there. I didn't need anything from her. I, you know, I don't need, I didn't want anything. I don't need anything. And I said, well, that's interesting because you've taken over everything. This, what is the situation with the will? I'm in the will and uh, I'm one of the major beneficiaries in her will and he's not in her will, nor any of these other people who, you know, who say that they're her best friends. So what does that say in your view? Well. It says to me that they're liars and that they're uh, making all this, uh, their relationship with her up for uh, fame and fortune. That's a big statement. Yep. Why do you think that? 
I just know that to be the truth because uh, um, I just know her and I, and I know what we had talked about, what her wishes were as far as everything when she was going to uh, get to the point where she no longer had a chance. I know what she wanted. What did she want? She wanted to be cremated. She wanted to be given to her dad with her mother's ashes. And uh, she did not want a funeral and she did not want a burial plot. As being one of Farah's closest confidants, to know how she viewed, and I, I heard you say that she referred to him as the fat fuck from the beach. Um, and he said, yes, that's what I am. That's what he said. <laughs> um, I ask you this, um, given you've heard, according to you, Farah's version of events regarding Ryan for 11 years before her untimely passing, um, do you feel a sense, how do you feel now that you've confronted him? Uh, I mean, he's just an incredible liar. He, he can actually sit there and, and look at you knowing that you know, and he still is going to lie about it, you know, and play like he's some kind of innocent, uh, never done anything wrong to his children, uh, not involved in any of this, you know, to go at the very end of the conversation and said, have you talked to Jimbo, which is Farrah's dad? Well, yeah, I've talked to Jimbo. You know that. Well, he called this morning. Did he call you? <laughs> what is that, a Trump? What do you think of Ryan O'Neill? I think he's a fat fuck from the beach. That's what Farrah called him. Exactly. That's what he is. You know, I'd rather refer to what uh, Dr. Keith Ablow refers to him in a clinical evaluation. That's what he is. He's a narcissistic psychopath. Anything else you'd like to add? No. It's disgusting. Yeah, this is something that uh, Ryan O'Neill sent me. And uh, he just explained to me that this was a peace offering and uh, it came in this envelope uh, a couple of months ago in August, I believe it was. And uh, I think it's just absolutely the worst thing I have ever seen in my life. 